Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have about five minutes and I really wanted to film a testimony video, a short one, but I've been wanting to share this with you guys since it happened. And most of you guys know that I moved into, um, my family and I moved into our forever home. And during the moving process, the packing process, I was so stressed out, you guys. If any of you guys have moved, you already know. Packing is stressful, moving is stressful, and then on top of that, we're moving into a house that was in the middle of renovations. We had to live in a portion of the house that was not renovated. It was livable, obviously, but it just was not renovated. It was not ideal at all. And so I was so stressed out about how we were gonna do this, where the kids were gonna sleep, where we were gonna sleep, how are we gonna do this? Now, it was just so completely overwhelming. And coming up to the day of the move, you guys, I was just a mess. And I had been praying all day for like a several days. Just I was in constant prayer because I was trying to combat the anxiety and the stress. And it was the day of the move and I just, I woke up in the morning and I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Trying to just set the tone for myself that this is gonna be a great day. It's life-changing things happening right now. Yes, it's a little chaotic. It's not fun, you know, per se, but great things are coming. So I was just trying to set my mind and y'all, the struggle was so real. And just making sure we had every all the last minute things together it was really really tough and I was just not in a good place and our moving the moving truck that hubby hired they got there and they were about an hour late but they got there and I was like okay they're here let's get this ball rolling let's do this and it was some young guys um, you know like a group of four young guys and they they come in and I say hello to everybody and they start to go to work. And I'm in the kitchen hanging out and David comes in the kitchen and he's like, baby, your name is on the truck. I said, what are you talking about? My name is on the truck. He said, your name is on the truck. I'm like, no, it's not. I'm like, do you do know what my name is, right? <laughs> I don't have an ordinary name. My name is Tawanda. There's a lot of variations, Tawana, Tawanda spelled differently. No, my name is Tawanda, T-A-W-A-N-D-A. And I'm not seen or heard of a lot of people with that name, with that spelling. And so I'm like, no, nah, dude, you tripping. That can't be right. And I said, let me take my butt out here and look at this truck. Y'all, I go to the truck. It's a plain white truck. Nothing on it. It's a plain white truck. But in the very front of the truck, plain as day that thing says Tawanda do y'all hear me my name just sitting there right I'm like y'all know I'm gonna put pictures up here for you I was amazed in complete awe and shock and I'm just like really Lord you just gonna send me a truck with my name on it <laughs> it was crazy it immediately put a huge smile on my face and just gave me peace and I felt like at that moment it was God just saying look you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing so it just gave me such uh, you know like yes it's stressful it's not ideal but guess what you're exactly where I want you to be and that just made me feel so good inside and it's crazy to think that God does things so direct like that. Like, how much more direct can you get, right? But he does, y'all. He does the subtle things, but he does the in-your-face things. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, I'm just blowed away by that entire situation. And, you know, we got through the move. I got through three weeks of living in chaos in the upstairs part of our house. But when I look at where we are now, I am just so full of joy and grateful, you know, for the entire process because I had to 
be patient. I really had to work on my patience. I had to do a lot of stuff that was good for me in terms of growth. And so I just really wanted to share this story with you guys because it really just amazed me and touched me. And I want y'all to know God works. He does some crazy things, okay? He does very subtle things and he does very direct things. And I was grateful that day to have him be so direct just for me. And so... Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me for this testimony video. If you guys have an instance where God has just been like direct in your face, like talking to you, like he, you know he's talking to you, you can't deny it. Drop a quick scenario or quick situation down below so that we can all be encouraged by how God works because he's just amazing. So that's it for now, guys. I will see you in my next video.